Hello and welcome to another Kyle Connor YouTube channel video. You join me in Newark, New Jersey. I'm with Anna. We've Hello. just flown in and uh, there's my dad in his Model 3 standard range. And we are on a mission for us to go buy a Lucid Air today, or at least go look at it. So, hi dad. Hi. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good, all right. Well, uh, let's go see this Lucid. So I saw you were coming and I put my heated seat on in anticipation and raised the temperature to 72. I should put my heated seat on as well then. Right, see I got mine on full blast and auto. All right. And we'll go for a medium fan I'm speed. I'm gonna take the gumball lane on this uh, Altima here. Yeah, this guy's just been parked here. Yeah. He's probably gone away on vacation I'm actually. Surpri uh, <laughs> I'm surprised the, the police haven't busted him yet. Yeah, hadn't seen any of that action. Yeah, well, this isn't JFK, you know, this is New Jersey. So where are we going? Delaware, we're, right? We're going to Wilmington, Delaware. And uh, supposedly they have something Check very- Check this out, clean energy, clean air charging on a CPE 250, those buses. Right. What? That's wow. so cool. Okay, airport exit. That was neat. So you're greeted in New York with electric buses. New York? I mean, New Jersey. <laughs> It's all the same. Yeah. <laughs> what part of New York are you from? New Jersey. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, it is. Do you know the, the New York uh, Giants play in New Jersey? So you know. Do you know the exact area, or just is he in the town of Wilmington? I, I think so. I have the address somewhere. Well, we're at seventy-three percent state of charge. This is a Model Three standard range LFP. Yes. With only how many miles? One thousand eight hundred and eighty-two miles. Uh huh. And you're already looking at your next car. Well, an additional car. An additional I, car, you know, right. I'm not I'm not not getting rid of this. Right. Well what we decided to do was we'll borrow one of the two. Yeah. To make some videos. Right. Only one at a time. Right, sure. <laughs> I don't think we need to do any model three versus lucid air uh you know comparison testing. I, I, I gotta tell you though, you don't need anything more than this. You forgetting to download your software updates? Yeah, I forgot. I haven't hooked this car up to Wi Fi yet. All right, ever, 2023.2.12. This car drives really well. Check out the efficiency coming out here too. And I was I was doing pretty well, I was going good. Listening to Selena Gomez, you've got 252 watt hour per mile and it's 37 degrees out. Pretty good. Yeah. And so the trip plan looks like we can just make it there at 4%. Really? I'm surprised that low. Oh yeah, that I'm used to my Model S. <laughs> yeah, oh, I was gonna say I thought we had to charge a whole Model S. I could go all the way south of Baltimore from my house. Yeah, fair point. So, uh, but I guess what we'll do is there's a bunch of superchargers along the rest stop, a bunch that are offline. What do you think's going on here, Dad? Oh, they've been fenced off for a while. Temporary closure, temporary closure. This one's got a five minute wait time. The rest are available. Wow, look at these bunch of this waits. Less than five minute wait time, temporary closure, less than five. Well, maybe it's a good thing you're getting a Lucid. You don't have to deal with this unreliable yeah. supercharger network. Well, we, we have to see if we're getting a Lucid. Uh, did I make a mistake here? No. Okay. Um, we're gonna check out, we're gonna check out this Lucid. This so, is a, we need to talk about this car. Right, well, we'll introduce it in a little bit. Okay. But what I need to do is, you did make a wrong turn. I went the wrong way. Um, what, how we I... just need to stop at one of the New Jersey uh, rest stations. You know what I mean? And supercharge, and I got a PE. Oh, you didn't go in? No, because your timing was perfect when we yeah. walked off the plane. You were right there. Yeah, of course I was. That's yeah, the, that's that was the great. Way, that's the way I roll, Kyle. Yeah. Uh, we also saw a Nissan Aria there. Really? Yes. Okay. Have They're you doing seen one yet? Heavy advertising on my channel. No, Is everywhere. It? Oh yeah, I saw. That. <laughs> Not everywhere, just my channel. No, they, just they, your channel. They've chosen me to to actually launch their their uh, car. You should make a video on all the reasons you shouldn't buy a Nissan Aria, and then play the Nissan Aria ad. That scene was noise? just full set. That it sounded sound really good. Yeah, it sounded awesome. What the heck? VTech for life. Uh, and then you got V8s in front of New York's great. Oh, it's a Dodge. Yeah. All right, well, we'll get on the road and get down to Delaware at right. 4%. Check this thing out. We are pulling over to a service center here on the New Jersey Turnpike that has Panda Express, Starbucks, and magically a supercharger and a Shake Shack, you said? Yes. And okay. I, I think a Chick-fil-A. Wow, I didn't know they were up here. Yeah, we have Chick-fil-A. Oh, okay. It, that used to not be the case, though, Columbus right? Columbus Park Mall had it when I was a kid. Oh, really? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. 
Well, maybe not in Connecticut then. I don't remember ever seeing Chick Fil A no, growing Connecticut up. Connecticut wasn't really in in uh, New York City, or it was always in New Jersey. Huh. As um, yeah. so, yeah, we want to go. I think to that second entrance right up there, and we're gonna charge at what looks to be a version three supercharger and some two. Look at this, two old fifty kilowatt units right there. And then you have, goes. you have a bunch of 250 kilowatt Tesla ones. Now we are going to definitely charge because then we won't have to charge for the rest of the trip, but we're at 58%. The battery's probably cold on this thing. So we're gonna just opportunity yeah, charge. I didn't even precondition. Yeah, but if the whole thing was full, I'd say we'd probably leave it open, but there's a, two open spaces. This is a little blasphemous though, of charging at 58% state of charge. Yeah, but it's, see the thing is the car is of no inconvenience. It's true. Or just happened to be here, and I just kicked it onto precondition. We should have been preconditioning the whole yeah. time. Uh -huh. But oh yeah, there's three open spaces. Definitely, let's plug in. All right. Well, listen to the battery. Whatever that. Noise. Right, your heat pump. Heat pump. Mm -hmm. You know what? You need to teach me about a heat pump. I don't really understand what a heat pump is. It's an air conditioner, but backwards. I st okay. I still don't understand that. <laughs> well, you know, when you put an air conditioner on and yeah. you touch it, you'll burn your hand. I've never touched an air conditioner. Well, maybe you have less problems than I do. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this was the slowest backing into a supercharger I've oh, ever you, seen. You should see me back up. Yeah, well, what is your parking skills like at a supercharger? Not great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this. Okay, we're still in the car. Nice. All right, let's take a look at the charging speeds. Plug us in. Here he goes. I've never charged an LFP Model 3 before. Oh, only a 32 amp onboard charger. Oh, it looks like he has to pay for charging. Can you hand me my phone there? Your phone, sure. Thank you, sir. I like that your Model 3 is a race car on Waze. Oh yeah. And then it went to 80% because it's a high usage supercharger. We are going to be those people to blow past it. Are we really? Oh, okay, here we go. 50 kilowatts. Oh, it's not terrible, honestly. For an LFP, that's cold. It's 37 degrees out, no preconditioning. Driving doesn't really warm up the battery much. Precondition for a second. Dad, not bad, 90 kilowatts right off the bat on the cold battery. Well, you know, I've trained this car, Kyle. Right, it, it just knows to warm up, yeah. but now we're dropping down. So that seems to be the thing with LFP. You get a big spike and then it falls on its face oh, if it's cold. It doesn't fall on its face. What are you talking about? Well, I would say let's let this uh, juice up and we'll go get uh, food, use the restroom, do all the stuff, and then we won't need to charge after this to get to Delaware. All right. Wait, how much are we paying here? I'm just curious. Um, 33 cents per kilowatt hour. That's pretty good. You know, this, I've never paid for a Tesla supercharging session. Still? Still. I think it expires end of this month or end of Do, next month. Is that month. because you use my credit card? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's because of referrals and free charging programs and all that stuff. Yeah. Well, good for you. I pay for mine. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> I see that. Yeah, yes. All right. Yeah. Very good. Well, 66, 65 kilowatts and dropping, but that's all right. This will warm up the battery. We'll get even better efficiency after this charging session. That's right. That's not true. One thing, yeah, we'll just eat in the cart. But one thing we've learned is Shake Shack takes 25 minutes. No, 15 minutes. Okay, a long time. Yeah. But the car is at 99%, so we got to go. Yeah, but Kyle, this has got to be one of the best rest stops. I know, totally. Subway, Panda Express, this place. A, Shake Shack, Starbucks, yeah. and Bath. Check this out. Just a whole bunch of white Teslas everywhere. <laughs> Looks like California, but California has reached the East Coast. But we are at 99, so time to go. One open stall, stall. we didn't block anyone. We have reached 100% state of charge. Not that we really needed it, but um, it's an LFP, so you can full charge this thing as much as you want. Doesn't, I don't think, really hurts it that much. So it's now it says we'll get to Wilmington, Delaware at 62%, which seems pretty good. So, Dad, now it says we'll get there with 62%. Yeah, I don't know what you put in Wilmington, North Carolina. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, I guess Delaware is not close. I was thinking we, it was going to be like a three-hour trip. No. <laughs> but we got Shake Shack that we're going to eat. We got your Subway, Starbucks. Are you good back there? Yep. 
Okay. I think we're gonna put in the actual address now. Which we won't put on YouTube. No. Good. And then it says EV charging this way, which you can't charge that way. Yeah, that's sad. That is not good. Well, or, or they're just, I guess, I don't know. They're either their site house agreement came up or they're re putting new chargers in. We'll have to see, but either way, they're offline. Oh, they're yeah, buried. so they got all the superchargers there, but they're doing construction. Yeah, plus you got Maniac uh, maniac truck driver up here. Yeah, this dude was just full sending it through traffic. He like, yeah, I mean, I'm saying full sending, he was swerving. Yeah, like full, full limit handling <laughs> on the lane change. It was pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. That, was, that was New Jersey. He's got the memo. He's, he's upset, Kyle. Yeah, yeah, he's pissed with something. Look, there he is swerving around a little bit. He's at his top speed limiter. What can he do? 70, about probably 70 miles an hour. Yeah, no, 68 to 70. Yeah, is, is, so he's at the max his truck can go and he's trying to pass this Cadillac. <laughs> no, he's got a car in front of him. Oh, That's I don't why think so, he's actually. Angry. No, he's angry. Let's let's see if he does an aggressive lane here, change look, up here. You can see, if I go over here. Yeah, well, the Volkswagen's doing the same thing. I don't think there is oh, a car in front no, of him. So he is at his limiter. His speed limiter, yeah. You yeah, they're, they're 68 is what they're normally set to. We're doing 67. So right. that he, so he's getting... Watch when he takes this lead. Here yeah. he goes. All right, so right in front of the Cadillac, and nice. Uh, that that was, was a that pretty was normal lane smooth. change. That was very smooth. Yeah, very nice. Okay. <laughs> we have now pulled into Delaware, and take a look at this, Dad. You have got 2,004 miles on your car. Yes. And 254 watt hour per mile cruising at uh, 65 to 75 or so. Yes. Pretty good, especially considering it's 39 degrees out. Yeah, no, look, this car is, is quite efficient with the aero wheels and the way I drive it. <laughs> yeah, you do drive very slow. <laughs> not, not very slow. <laughs> very slow. Safe. Safe. Sa I'm a safe, safe driver. I'm a safe driver. Right, yes. Anytime someone moves around, you take it off autopilot if, immediately. If mom were to drive this car, <laughs> the thing would be like 350. If, right, mom drives it much faster I than know, you she, do. she does. Yeah. My yeah. mom drives faster. Than That's my, right. Grandma. <laughs> grandma she rips. freaking rips it. Yeah. I know. Uh, so, yeah, we're just heading over. We're not too far away from where the Lucid is at the moment. And we're seeing solar panels on this innovation and science park which looks uh, empty at the moment. So I guess innovation is paused on Sundays in Delaware. Just like Chick-fil-A. Right, like, th Sundays, ah, uh, we don't want to innovate. <laughs> and no chicken. Right, so it really shows you the passion of the people working on these projects. We have now arrived and peeking just over there is potentially your new Lucid I'm Air. I'm so excited. Let's go. I make... haven't slept the last two nights. <laughs> And well, here's the first time we're coming to take a look at it over here. Dad, do you know the name of the color? I do not. Yeah, forget the name of the color, but it's got the 21s, um, the bright pack. I think this is before they started offering the silver, uh, or I should say the dark gray accents around the outside. The car, the window stickers in there, only has uh, 900 miles on it or so. It's a freshy, fresh car. And... Uh, yeah, I mean, we'll walk everyone through the full story as to why it's for sale, all that good stuff, and, and the deal. That'll all be on the Out of Spec Dave channel. But let's get the keys. Let's open it up. Let's take an initial uh, first glance at it and uh, start looking for any defects or body misalignments or stuff like that. We do know it had a windshield replacement because a tree fell um, and just nicked this side of the windshield here. It's, he said it didn't touch any of the paint, just nagged the windshield and um, I think my dad will do a video on how much that costs because it's actually pretty surprising. So all looking good here on initial glance though. So looking over here at the big clamshell trunk, of course, it has the uh, mobile connector with the NEMA 1450 adapter, which is great. Maybe the other adapter is in there. We can always take a look here in just a moment. Um, you know, not really worried about functionality of the car. Software, it's under warranty, of course. So if we notice anything like that, then of course we'll see uh, that fixed. Taking a look here in the back. Could use a little vacuum, but nothing major. The rear glass isn't cracked at all, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks great. Better not be. Yeah. <laughs> looks really sweet. The, Kyle, the color is quantum gray. What do people think of him down here? Uh, you know, he's a, I, I think well, there it is. Did a quick initial check. And uh, what do you think? You I'm like it? So happy. 
Yeah, well, we'll debrief in the car. Yeah. Um, but we're not picking it up right now. You have to actually wire money in Sunday. Yeah. So we have to wait till tomorrow to pick it up. Yeah. But that's no big deal. All right, dinner on me tonight, guys. <laughs> actually, dinner on us because you're buying a car. You. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go back. You're never going to want to drive this Model 3 again. Uh, I'm going to have to. I think you might be right. Yeah. Well, I'd, I'd like to have this out in Colorado for a bit. All right. You can have what do you think, Anna? I love selling. the Lucid. It's yeah. great. Yeah, it does make this seem Kyle, a this bit is, boring. This is not going away. No, no, no. We're going to have, we're going to swap the cars around a little yeah, bit between gonna, you and me. Gonna, yeah. By the end of the summer, we'll probably end up having two cars, but for a while, we're going to have three. Right. Right. You mean you will have three. I will have three. You'll yeah. have like whatever, 27 or something. Yeah. Hopefully more than that. God, this feels like a toy. <laughs> All right, so we just finished test driving the Lucid. Now we're back in a much smaller vehicle. So, I mean, that that's no surprise there. Um, not sure I've ever really gone from a Lucid straight to a Model 3 like that so instantly. I but... feel like I went from a Lucid to a Model 3. <laughs> I, mean, like, you know, I mean, this, you know, that just is just so solid. Right, right. so it's let's just... talk about the things we looked for. We looked for paint consistency throughout the vehicle. And we didn't film too much because uh, the owner of the vehicle who's selling you the car was there. We didn't necessarily want to, he probably would have said yes, but we didn't ask him to be on YouTube. Uh, so we didn't want to get too much of his stuff in there. No. But uh, we drove it for, I don't know, 45 minutes, a really long test drive. Yeah. He had it full charged, which is the first time he's ever full charged the car, right. which is very good. Nice of him to full charge it for us, but we asked him not to plug it in tonight because we are going to try to avoid as much battery degradation as possible. So it's at about 90% right now, something like that, maybe just under. And uh, we, a couple things we need to figure out. We need to figure out how to get your app hooked up to the car. Yes. And for you to become an owner for, you know, in the eyes of Lucid. So we have to look up that process. Um, you know, I believe your free charging transfers for Electrify America. Yes, it does. And that's confirmed from Lucid. I was a little surprised about that because, you know, in, on a Volkswagen, when you sell it, it does not transfer. Ah, but on a Porsche Taycan, it does. Oh, okay. Well, on a Lucid, it does as well. And yeah. by the way, the other thing that's good is in 2022, it was three years of free EA. 2023 for Lucid, it's two. Right. Well, it really should be zero. It should be zero, <laughs> but, but if you got it, get it. But the whole reason for buying this car is because I don't have to pay for gas. Oh, or, come on. Or pay for charging, right? <laughs> yeah, it's that's a bargain. Uh, so that's always a plus, of course, especially as this thing is going to get driven down to Florida and maybe out to California and some other things here pretty soon. So yeah, well, it's definitely, it's definitely going to Florida in April. Um, right. So, nice. and this Model 3 will go to Florida in the, uh, in June. Okay. Because I do want to run, I, I do want to run this car down to Florida to compare. Do the Florida you know, run? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, um, this is an interesting. So, so we looked at the paint quality around the vehicle. We uh, looked at tires, made sure nothing was abnormal there. We looked at the software, made sure it was still getting updates, which it absolutely is. We looked at, um, you know, just interior quality, which was dirty. I don't think the cars ever had a car wash. Yeah. Ever had I mean, a there were leaves in the in the look. It's it's his it's his car. I mean, it, whatever. He hasn't really driven it much. Right. At all. So and the guy's really a Tesla guy. He tried out the Lucid thing. Did not like it really at all. Right. And uh, was like the so he's really software focused. He's like the software's not good. And I'm like, yeah, the software is not good. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, but you're buying it for other reasons, of course. He's not a road tripper. These things are not you know priorities for him. He's actually getting a Model S Plaid uh, yes. to replace this uh, vehicle, which is his second plaid. He sold his first plaid because it had a yoke. He hated the yoke. Hated the yoke. Got a Lucid, didn't like the Lucid. Now he's getting a Model S plaid with a round wheel, and I think he'll be pleased there. Yeah, and he's had a, he's had a, a Model S for many years now, for about seven years. Right, he's uh, always kept his P85D in the garage. Right. And so that's what he, sounds like he's always been driving that one. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, that's great. So, so your car's super clean. Uh, when it's out in Colorado with us, I think we'll get Colton to do a full thing on it, make sure it's totally dialed in for you. Um, and uh, yeah, what, what are the videos that people should keep an eye on uh, going up probably at the same time as this? We have your video on Out of Spec Dave. Yes, absolutely. Which is your reveal and delivery video and yeah, all of that stuff. Right. And then also one of the other things I want to talk about, Kyle, is, are the economics of buying a... Uh, a lucid does it make sense to buy a new one with the incentives they have now or are there some good deals on the pre-owned market which i 
I can confirm there are. Right, so, so so you'll walk them through a couple things I think will be interesting to see coming up. All of the service records on the vehicle, because he only had it for 800, 900 miles, and it had service three times? Four. Four times. Four times. Uh, yeah. So that's going to be really fascinating. It'll be great to see your experience with Lucid Service, if the track record's anything to go by. Yeah. And uh, a lot of it was just dialing in factory production issues, it sounds like the economics of the situation, of course, and um, we'll have some reviews, content on there, road trips, charging tests, range tests, the whole bit. So uh, there you go. Thanks for watching our vlog. We're actually still in Delaware. We may go back up to Connecticut. We may. One thing I want to add is I did try out the lane centering with Dream Drive Pro today, right. which worked out very well, and uh, I thought it did a good job. It, felt, it feels very familiar. And, uh, you know, and, and what, what's nice was it had the most recent software update as well because he's got it connected to Wi-Fi. Right. So, uh, yeah. Well, I'm not sure we're going to go back to Connecticut tonight and then come all the way back down. Well, let's see exactly how far it is. So it's only three hours to get home, and that's including a supercharging stop. So why wouldn't we go back home? Okay, I'll explain why. Okay. In the morning... I'm making waffles. No, right. in the morning. We'll be out the door at four. We Yeah, that's the reason right there. I mean, we're not going to, if, if I send the wire tonight and he gets it by eight o'clock in the morning. Yeah, we want to be wanna, out of the driveway at 8.05. I want to show up here at 8.05 and be yeah. a, but you know, like I don't, I don't think we should go home tonight. Okay. Well, we can hang out in uh, Wilmington, Delaware. Yeah. What a place. We can go anywhere. We can go to Washington, D.C. tonight if we want to. Let's absolutely not go there. Yeah. Baltimore? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> this whole area, I think, is my least favorite part Although of the country. Although this part of Wilmington, Delaware? Yeah, wherever we are around this is here. Beautiful this beautiful is, This is nice. This is stellar. Apparently, Joe Biden lives five minutes up let's this go, road. Let's go there. Let's, Should we go see Joe yeah, Biden's let's go, house? Let's go to Joe's house. We can see uh, it being raided by uh, whoever. Well, no, I mean, you know, let's just let's just go there. we got to check out the Corvette. Oh, that's right. We gotta see the red Corvette in the garage. Is it red? I, th I don't know. Probably. If it's red. I Whatever. Think it is. He, he's got it. Get me the. Get me the address. I'll see if Tesla knows how to get there. Navigate to Joe Biden's house. <laughs> I really don't get political on YouTube. This isn't political. This is geography. Harriet Tubman Safe House. Well, okay. I don't know. We'll we'll look around and see if we can find I want, it. I want to go. I want to go see the president's house. <laughs> Check this out. They got a whole bunch of barriers. So the end of the road, you can't go down there. It's a no drone zone. Yeah, because they're protecting the president. You think he's in there? Well, they followed over on his bicycle somewhere back there. Oh, no. Yeah. This is beautiful right Yeah, this here. is pretty nice. Nice looking neighborhoods. Maybe not this specific place, but where he would be, which is, I believe, um, just somewhere over here. That's thrown uh, into the uh, the satellite, satellite view. Thing. Yeah, so I believe that it's one of these around here. I think something like this. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Sweet. Cool to uh, nice neighborhood. Cool to see all the Secret Service activity up here. That was pretty awesome, actually. Love that. And there you can see. A Imagine if you lived in that neighborhood. That would be so annoying. I mean. They gotta move all those trucks and everything. Yeah. Every time you go out to the 7-Eleven to get your Slim Jims, you gotta, you know. Yeah. Well, you got is. a gate, you got an armored car, you got all the barriers they got around. They got a pup tent. No drone zone. <laughs> he waved? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like, is that, Kyle, is that Kyle and Dave from out of spec? Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty nice. Hey, I know those guys. Well, as you can probably tell by now, it is nighttime and we decided to stay the night in Delaware. We figured, hey, we'll film some videos, actually take a look at out-of-spec reviews. We did a whole LFP driving review. We saw my dad's old high school. It was actually a pretty fun afternoon of exploring. We're going to pick up the Lucid in the morning, assuming all goes to plan. And um, yeah, just a fun time flying in. Actually, we had just arrived back to Denver only a few hours before we flew out. 
and that is because we were on that Range Rover road trip. It made it all the way back to Colorado with no issues. I fixed the air suspension. The exhaust valve had plugged up. That's if you've seen the previous video. There's no second uh, part road trip to that series, but I will do a full update on the Range Rover when I'm back in Colorado. We have so much to do. We're gonna be driving a Porsche Panamera plug-in hybrid on a big road trip down to Atlanta. Um, we got a lot of fun stuff going on over the next few days. So stay tuned to this channel. More importantly, watch the Out of Spec Reviews channel for a whole bunch of cool stuff, hopefully coming to you soon. And um, there you go. I, we checked out the Lucid. Man, that thing looks pretty good. Can't believe it has less than 900 miles and it's so much less money than a new one. I mean, an incredible deal for a grand touring, fully specced, every option car. Uh, it's pretty wild. So stay tuned to the Out of Spec Dave channel, the Out of Spec Reviews channel for all the full announcement stuff. This was the behind the scenes vlog, the tour of going to go see the car. Can't thank you enough for watching and, uh, uh, you know, watching my personal channel. This is just where the fun stuff, the adventures we get to go on gets posted. So see you in another, 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 another. see you in another video soon. Bye-bye.